In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to create your own landing page for free using Aweber. And I'll also show you how to connect your landing page to your own domain. So this is the landing page I'm gonna show you how to build in this video. It's a landing page where I give away a free lead magnet in exchange for an email address. Giving away something for free is the best way to get new leads and grow your email list. And that's exactly what you can use that landing page for. And the cool thing with Aweber is that on their free plan, you can build landing pages. So if you don't already have an Aweber account, I'll leave a link down below in the description that you can use to get yourself a free Aweber account. So go ahead, log into your Aweber account right now and let's get started on our landing page. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page inside of Aweber. So to do that, we just go to the top menu and click on landing pages. And then we'll create a new landing page by clicking on create a landing page on the top right. And then we get to the page where we can decide to either start from scratch by choosing this one right here, or we can choose a already existing template. They have some different templates for different kind of landing pages. So just go through there and maybe you'll find a template that already looks like something that um, works very well for what you wanna build for your business. So they have some different stuff like uh, coaching and consulting theme landing pages or maybe like a book promotion landing page. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna choose this personal promotion um, template because I think that's kind of basic and works for a lot of different industries. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a lead magnet landing page where you can give away something for free in exchange for an email address. So I'm gonna put a cover of my lead magnet right here and then change the text here and then that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna choose this template right there to get started and that will take us into the landing page builder of Aweber. So uh, this is the basic layout from our template that we have just chosen. And if you wanna change something here, all you have to do is just click on the element and then on the right side, you will see a menu. Let me just drag myself a bit to the left here so you see everything. And then you can change everything here on the right. If you wanna add some new elements that aren't already uh, in the canvas, you just go to the left side and drag in whatever you wanna add. So you can drag in an image right here or you can also drag in a button right there or whatever you see here on the left side. So um, to kind of build this out, you can just drag in whatever you want to. So let's actually get started and customize this landing page to what we want it to look eventually. So if you wanna have a logo on the top, you can just uh, replace this one or if you don't want it, just delete it by clicking here. I actually, I will import my logo so you see how it looks like. So I'm gonna click on the logo and then on the left side, click on upload an image. And then I'm gonna choose um, this logo right here. And I also i am gonna make it a bit smaller like this. And there we go. Now we have our logo in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the image to the cover of my lead magnet. So I'm gonna click on it. Then on the right side, there will be the menu. I'm gonna click on upload an image. And then I'm gonna choose the cover of my lead magnet. Open this and now it will insert this cover. So what I wanna do now is I wanna change the size of this cover. So I'm gonna to go to the right side and, and untick this auto width um, button right there. And then we have the sizing option available here, this arrow that you see. So here you can try to make this smaller or bigger. But as you see, it kind of snaps back into position. So to fix that, you can just drag out the ratio of this column to this column by just dragging it in the middle like this. So when you drag it out, you can make it a bit smaller. So I think the size is pretty fine the way it looks right now. But what I want to do now is I want to have like um, kind of a gap in between this um, section here and this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the row right here and that will open up the row settings. So um, as you see, I have a row number one and row number two. So the row number one is this left row right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make um, kind of a margin here on the right side. So I'm gonna go down to spacing, gonna click on this and then on margin and I'm gonna tick individual sides and then, then I'm gonna adjust this uh, right padding right there. So I'm gonna just increase uh, this to let's say 25 pixels 
and that will give me 25 pixels of gap in between those two elements. Okay, this looks good to me. Now I'm gonna change the heading right here. So just click on it and then change it to whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna name it, get my SEO, uh, YouTube SEO checklist for free. And then I'm also gonna change the text on the bottom right here to something more relevant for what I'm giving away. So like this, cool. Um, now, next thing, let's actually change the button right here. So I'm gonna click on the button. I'm gonna change the text to send it now because I wanna know people that if they type in the email right here, I will send them this lead magnet that I'm advertising here basically. Um, this looks fine. Let's also change the color. So I go to color on the right side. I'm gonna make this, let's say green and the hover color, which is the color that you see when you hover over the button, I'm gonna make this like a lighter green. So now when you hover over it, it will be uh, a bit lighter than when you're not hovering over it with your mouse. Then I also, I'm also gonna change the shape. So now it's kind of um, with those sharp edges and I wanna make it a bit uh, more round because I think it looks more modern. So you can also do that by clicking on the button and then on the right side, you have these options here. So I'm just gonna use, click on this one and that makes it a bit more round here. Uh, cool, so now let's move on um, to this part. So here, obviously in the template, you have the social media icons where you can click on it. And then on the right side, you can kind of um, enter your Facebook uh, links or your Twitter handle and everything here. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this because I don't really want that on my landing page. So I'm gonna delete it. And now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background of my landing page. So the way I do that is by just going out of the menu of the element by going to the cross right here on the top. And that brings me to the page properties. And here you see the basic design options. Here is where you can change the basic font. So let's say I wanna change the font of my title right here. I would have to go to header font right there. And then I'm, I can change it to, let's say I make it Arial Black to make it a bit more bold. And you can also change like the, the font size and everything. Let's, for example, change the body font to, let's say 20. Uh, actually, that's a bit too large. Let's keep it at, um, let's keep it at 16, like this. And um, then I go to the background right here on the bottom and I'm gonna choose a file. So I'm gonna insert an image as a background. I'm gonna choose uh, this texture, texture file right here that I've downloaded from uh, Google. I'll insert it. And now I think it, it's a bit too, too saturated in the background. So I'm gonna um, decrease the opacity here to let's say 30%. And I wanna make it a bit darker. So I'm gonna choose the background color. I'm gonna make this black. So now this whole form here pops a little bit better and also the logo pops a bit more than with that gray background. Um, cool. So. Now the form is pretty much done or the landing page is pretty much done. Um, what we can also take a look at is the form itself. So when you click on the form, you get to the form uh, options here on the right side. So you can either, you can, for example, right now, uh, only the email is required. So if people only type in the email address and click on the button, it will still go through. If you want them to uh, have to type in a name in order to for it to work, you have to make it required. So you can click on edit on the top right uh, where it says name, click on edit and then click on required right here. And then you will also have, you make this field required. Uh, and you'll see this asterisk uh, symbol right there. Now you can also add more fields uh, if you want to. So if you wanna ask for more information, you can create custom fields. So if you click on this one right here on this custom fields, Let's open this in a new tab. Um, then you can create new custom fields. So I've created like a custom field called the website right here. So now I could choose a new form field called website. So I could choose website right here and then it would insert this as well. And people could give me like their website if there's something that's like relevant for my business. But most people will probably just ask for the name and the email. Cool, so I could also show like privacy um, policy information and stuff like that. Um, 
yeah and now, and then the next thing is what happens when people actually type in their information where do they go and that's what what we have to uh, set uh, when we click on submission on the top right so normally when somebody types in their information in the landing page they will go to the so-called thank you page and with aweber they have like a standard uh, default thank you page which looks like this um, so this is what they will see when uh, when they type in their information. It basically says that they have to go to their email inbox and confirm their subscription to your email list. Um, what I'm going to do this now for this tutorial, um, but what I would actually recommend you do is you create a separate thank you page uh, specifically for your business. So you can design it really well. And the way you do it is by just creating an, another landing page. So if you go back to uh, your uh, Aweber account and create a new landing page, you see they have a template right here, uh, this thank you page template. So you could just choose this template, create your landing page, and then you could right here, um, you could choose custom URL and then just put in the URL of that thank you page right here. And then it would look a bit uh, nicer than just this default thank you page of Aweber. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to keep it simple and choose this simple um, thank you page right here and also the simple um, already subscribed page, which shows up when somebody already typed in this email. Um, so they're already subscribed. Um, you can also give them tags. So let's say I want to give everybody that signs up through this landing page a tag called um, YouTube checklist landing page. So I that I know everybody that has this tag came through this landing page. All right, so that's it for the design. Now let's go back to um, to the page properties. So if you go to the cross on the top right, you can go back to the properties. And then what we haven't looked at yet is the settings. So if you click on settings, you see here that there are the landing page URL settings. And right now, if you were to publish this landing page, this would be the URL, which as you can see, doesn't look very nice. So what you want, what you want to do is you want to um, create a custom URL or a custom domain for this landing page. So for me, it would be something like um, something combined with medicsmedia.com. So what I would suggest you do is you create a subdomain like something like um, free.medicsmedia.com or content.medicsmedia.com where you can then host your landing page. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. Probably, um, um, so you probably haven't already uh, set this up for your account. So the way you do this is by going to customize subdomain. I would open this in a new tab right here. And that takes you to your um, account settings. So you could also go to, to this one right here, go to account, click on domains and addresses, and that's how you get there. And then when you scroll down, you see uh, the option to connect your own domain. And as you see, I have already connected two subdomains to kind of show you how it works because it does take some time until it's actually set up. But you probably don't see anything right here because you haven't set this up for yourself. So the way you do this is by clicking on connect domain and then you have to decide on your domain or on your subdomain. So let's say I wanna host it on my domain. So medics media medicsmedia.com. Now, um, if I just type in medicsmedia.com, then the entire domain will be just a landing page. So what I, I don't want to like, if you, if this is like your main website, you don't want to, um, mess it up by, um, directing the landing page to your, to your home domain. So what you want to do is create a subdomain. So you can do something like free.medicsmedia.com and that's called a subdomain. So um, just type in whatever applies to you. So whatever your domain is and then click on next DNS settings. And here's kind of the instruction of what we have to do to connect our domain with Aweber. So what we have to do is go to the DNS settings of our, um, our hosting provider of our registrar of the domain. And then we have to add a so-called CNAME record. So I'm going to show you how to do, to do this in Bluehost because that's my registrar provider. Um, so all you have to do is to go 
log in to your registrar account. In my case, this would be Bluehost. Then I go to my domains and choose the domain that uh, is relevant here. So that would be Maddox Media. Go to Manage and then go to the DNS settings right here. And here I can add some different records. So as you see here, when you scroll down, you get to the CNAME records. And here's where I have to add a new record. So I click on add record right here. And then I just have to paste the information that, um, that they give me here. So um, the host name, as you can see here, would be free. And I just click on it and then it will automatically copy, um, copy in my clipboard. Then I paste it in this field right here and then points to uh, this address. So click on it to copy it to your clipboard, go back to your hosting provider, and then points to um, hostedcontent.aweber.com. Uh, total time, you can just leave it as default and then click on save. And then it should be able to save it. And it does take a couple of hours until it's actually propagated and works. So, um, it takes up to 48 hours depending on your provider. And for me, it just took like a couple of hours, like three to four hours or something. So um, once it's done, go back to your Aweber account, click done. And then you will see this one on the bottom uh, added. And once in a while, you can just click on refresh like every like hour or so to check if it's already connected. But again, it takes a couple of hours. Now, when you've done that, you can go back to your landing page, um, your landing page that you've built right here, and then you can choose custom domain, and then you can choose the domain right here that you have set up. In my case, I've set up um, some subdomains before, so I can show you how it works. So I would, uh, let's say, use this one, freebie.maddoxmedia.com, and then I can also adjust um, a path after this URL. So let's say um, this would be, uh, let's say checklist. So then it says freebie.maddoxmedia.com forward slash um, checklist. And that's the final URL. Um, cool. So that's pretty much uh, it for the landing page. Now what we can do is click on preview on the top right if you want to see how it actually looks like. Um, looks pretty good to me. So let's go back to the editor. And one thing I forgot actually is to give it a name. So on the top right, um, we can give it a name. So let's name this one um, YouTube checklist. And now I'm gonna go to the bottom right and click save and exit. And as you see now, it's added to your landing pages. All we have to do now is click on publish on the right side, and then it will make this landing page live and people can actually visit it. Here you can see the link. Oops, sorry. Let's let's actually go back. So here you can see the link of the landing page. So you can open this in a new tab. And as you see here, this is your landing page. And again, you can test it out by just typing in a name and an email address right here. And as you see, this is our subdomain on the top and also secured with SSL. All right, so that's exactly how we can create a landing page using Aweber. That segment was actually a part of my complete Aweber tutorial that's also available here on YouTube for free. So if you're new to email marketing or you wanna learn more about how to set up your email marketing with Aweber, you can click on this video right here and watch that tutorial. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below with any questions or suggestions. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new here to not miss any upcoming videos. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.